What is going on you guys? Today we're gonna to be looking at this 2023 Chevy Silverado. Again, I wanna give a big shout out to Charlie Obal in State and Virginia for letting us review this truck. Their website will be in the description below. So if you wanna look at any new vehicles or used vehicles, go ahead and go check them out. All right, let's go ahead and jump right into the video. Jumping to the front of the truck, you can see this is the little bit more base model of the Silverado. So it isn't gonna have any of the front facing cameras on it you can see on the hood i'll start at the top and go down you do see the little bit of a design with the lines you also see it almost looks like what would be a hood vent right here in the middle moving on down you have the completely blacked out grill it says chevrolet across the front you do have the badge over here on the right side down on the bottom you do have your tow hooks they are color matched to the truck you do have that black plastic running across the bottom you can see it isn't the gloss black it is like the flat black Moving to the headlights, we do not have the LED headlights on this. It is just the standard halogen headlights. Over here on the side, I will show you this. You got your reflectors and turn signals. You also, I'm not sure if you can see it, a little Chevy badge right here as well. Moving on to the side of this truck, you can see I'll go ahead and start on the front. We do have the 18 inch gloss black wheels. It is paired up with the Goodyear regular tires as well. Moving on to the top, we do have the Silverado written across the top of it. I know sometimes they put it on the passenger door, but they did move it to the top on this model. On the side, like I said, this is the base model, so there's not really a whole lot to go over. You do have the matte black around the windows. Moving to the back, of course, you do have the same wheels on the back as you did the front. On the back here, you can see the 4x4 written on the side. Thing that just about does it for the side and we're going to go ahead and jump on the back moving around to the back here i'll go ahead and show this it does just have your standard base tail lights on the silverado down here on the bumper it is the color matched bumper you do have your steps over here on the side just to make it easier getting up in down here on the bottom i'm just going to work my way up you do have your tow hitch you also have a spare tire on this custom here i know a lot of the new vehicles don't always come with them but this one does on the tailgate over here on the left it has the silverado on the right like i said it is the custom so you have your custom badge here as well it does say chevrolet written across the back i'm not sure if you can see it in the video right here on the top you do have your backup camera this tailgate is the basic tailgate it is not the multi-function tailgate like a lot of the new ones have on the higher trim level i'll go ahead and drop this to show you the back you do have your factory bed liner in this truck you also have led lights for the bed here which is pretty nice just to be in the base model over here on the right you do have your plug for your power as well all right let me go ahead and close this up something i noticed with this tailgate super light tailgate i know a lot of times you can get a lot heavier tailgate but this thing you can just easily throw up with one hand i think that just about does it for the outside so let's go ahead and jump on the inside and i'll show you the interior all right, we are in the back of the Silverado now. I'll go ahead and show you. Like I said before, I am six feet tall. So you can see I have the driver's seat set where I need to be driving. I have plenty of leg room. As far as headspace, again, plenty of headspace. This is a full size truck, so you don't really got to worry about room. Jumping right to the door panel, you can see it does not have the soft material on the door like a lot of them do. This is the more base level. So this is going to be your regular plastic. I know the soft can be nice. But it also makes it nice with the plastic just for easy cleaning. As you can tell, it is the black interior. You do have your regular cloth seats here. On the floor, it does have the rubber floor mats that come with the truck, but it's not in here right now. I just threw them in the back to get them out of the way for the video. This one does not have that pull down with the cup holders. I know a lot of the trucks do, but this being the base model does not have it. Here in the middle, you do have your vents for your rear control. It is only controlled with the front. All right, that does it for the back. So I'm going to go ahead and jump in the front. I'll show you all the passenger side, and then I'll jump right into the driver's side. We are now in the front of this truck. I do want to go over a little bit of the stuff it does have in here. I'm just going to jump straight to the door panel. Just like in the back, it is just the plastic. It does not have any of that soft touch material on the top for your armrest. Moving to the bottom of the door, you can see it does have your two cup holders. You got a little bit of storage there on the right. The speakers in this truck are just the regular base speakers. It is not the upgraded sound system. Moving to the inside, you do have your vent right on the right side there. You also have your double glove box. So you got storage on the top and on the bottom. 
on the passenger seat you do not get the power seat it is like i said in the back it is just your regular black cloth interior right here in the middle i'll go ahead and show you all this i really like how even with this being a brand new 2023 you still got your bench seat here so you can't fit six people in here also i know a lot of times when you get this you don't get any storage but with this one they do have the storage in the bottom of the seat here here in the middle i am just going to start at the top fork my way on down you do have a little bit of storage here on the top on the bottom of this you do have your rubberized mat for the top and bottom so if you throw something up there it's not going to slide around as easily here you do have your touch screen it isn't a very big one but i'll do this in most of my videos it is really responsive as you swipe this one does have the android auto and apple carplay I'll show you the camera here's your backup camera you don't have any of the features for the 360 view on this one it is just your regular basic back backup camera moving right down here you do have your home button for your screen you can go home with this you do have your skip your power you have your phone over here on the right moving on down you do have your climate control this does not have your heated seats in it you just have your fan your temperature all the basic climate control right here right down here you do have your lane assist you have your auto stop right here you have your tailgate your hazards and your tracks control now you do have your tow brake here on the left you do have all your charging features here in the middle. Moving back, I'll go ahead and show you this. You do have your two cup holders. You have a little bit of storage here, and you do have your phone placement here. So jumping in the driver's side, of course, I want to show you all the door panel. It is the plastic. You don't have any of that soft touch. You have your window controls here, your mirror controls as well. Down here on the bottom, you have your two cup holders, more storage right here show you all the side view on the driver's side you do get your power seats you get your lumbar support here on the right go ahead and hop in over here on the left you do have your trailer settings your four-wheel drive sorry for that sun right there you do have your lights down on the left side you do have your parking brake as well looking back here this is the more basic steering wheel for the chevy Normally, you do have your settings here to control all your music. This is just a regular black plastic cap here. On the left, you do have your cruise control. Here in the middle, it is the regular analog. There's nothing digital on it. All your basic controls. You do have your little screen that tells you for your gas how many miles you got left out of a tank of gas. On the left, you have your windshield wiper settings and some of your high beam and low beam settings. I also want to show you all the key fob. It does just have the Chevy on the side. You can see it has your lock, your unlock. This does have the remote start. And you also have the button to drop your tailgate. This truck is the push button start. Before I forget, I just want to show you all the top. It's not a whole lot to go over. You do have your two lights here on the side. You have your button to turn on all the lights in the truck right here. And also the button to turn it on and off if you want the lights to come on when you open the door. I think that is everything for the inside. I do want to try showing y'all, this is the 2.7 liter four cylinder. So I want to try getting y'all a little bit of exhaust clip and then I'll show y'all under the hood and go over the gas mileage and everything that this gets. All right, guys, under the hood, like I said, this is the 2.7 liter four cylinder turbocharged engine. So being the four cylinder, you're not gonna get as much horsepower. You're gonna get around 310 horsepower with about 430 foot pound of torque. One nice thing about the four cylinder is you will get a little bit better gas mileage. So you get around 18 in the city, 21 on the highway. So a combined around 19 miles to a gallon not much more i want to go over this engine with y'all so i think that just about does it for this truck so i'm going to go ahead and wrap it up and end the video all right guys that wraps up this video i hope y'all have enjoyed watching this if y'all have just please hit that like and subscribe button that'll really help my channel out as usual if y'all want to see any specific vehicles just leave it in the comments below and i'll try getting that out to y'all until next time i'll see y'all later